Answering a question the government has ducked for years, the Obama administration's EPA today declared that man-made pollution is very likely the cause of global warming, labeling it an enormous problem. And the EPA ominously warned, greenhouse gases endanger public health and welfare. The finding is the first step towards potential sweeping regulations, which could limit emissions from tailpipes, smokestacks, and power plants. Environmentalists, including David Bookbinder of the Sierra Club, hailed the policy shift. The importance is that the federal government will now begin setting limits for the first time on carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas pollutants, something the Bush administration refused for eight years to do as the problem grew worse and worse. But any new pollution caps targeting climate change won't be in place anytime soon. Regulations by the EPA's own admission could take years and face likely court challenges, and they wouldn't be cheap. A crackdown on auto exhaust and new requirements reigning in factory emissions could cost untold billions at a time manufacturers and businesses are fighting just to survive a recession. The Obama administration, frankly, would like to hold off regulations and allow Democrats on Capitol Hill a chance to ram through tough new laws curbing emissions. But Republicans are calling that an energy tax, and they're pledging a fight. Katie? Bob Orr reporting from Washington tonight. Thank you, Bob.